if I get compressed, it needs to be because I chose to create compression. What I'm looking to do, guys, in most situations is create a structure on this person that he can't get around and then have the structure disappear out from under him and then he stumbles forward. And as he stumbles forward, I'm going to be able to create my offense. So, for instance, let's say I'm controlling Wayne and Seth's relying on me and then all of a sudden, whoop, I can lift him up because I disappeared the structure. Now I've recreated the structure. Holding it like this is now, I can do it because again, hamstrings, quads are plenty strong to hold somebody up for a couple seconds. But imagine I want to hold them all day, I would lop my legs out and utilize structure. But again, watch, let's say I wanted to create some movement. Oh, I could drop the structure away and then recreate it. So what I need you guys to do, it's no different. Let's say we're here, leaning on my hand, and oh, I transition to my arm. I transition to my head. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lift my hips and I'm creating a line between Seth and my shoulders. This does not take an immense amount of flexibility. What it takes is me not being terrified, one, and two, me being relaxed. If I'm tense, I'm like, oh my God, my neck. If I stay relaxed, I'm like, whatever. Why am I putting my hands on my knees, Seth? To support them. Extra structure. Why? Did I, was that even part of the move that we were going to teach? No. No, but it's what felt right at the time. Now watch, I'm going to use my elbows, same thing. I'm like, I'll see her all day. Simply because I'm making structure versus like, man, this move is hard. This move's not for me. No, I'm not doing it right. So watch, I'm going to walk on Seth and I'm going to Gramby roll as I do it. Spinning through, keeping my feet on him. I can, sorry about that. I can use hooks to do it. Watch, I'm going to create an X on my partner. Lift my hips up. Rotate my head through to the other side. So guys, if you look at the spider guard, I'm utilizing levers to affect Seth's balance. I have his arms. But with the cross grip, I don't have that luxury, or at least not to the same degree. I'm more on his hips. Now I'll hold his leg if I have a free hand, or I can control behind the seam. Kind of the seam of the gi here is a great you know, point of reference, because what it's gonna allow me to do is rotate Seth's upper body and create instability. So right now, Seth is square. If we rotate us to the camera, please. You guys will notice that Seth is square. When you're square, man, you're really structurally sound. When I start to twist you, not so much. Being able to rotate Seth's spine out of position is very, very valuable to me. And also, if you notice, with my right foot and his hip, I can also pull him in while keeping his hips back. Additionally, I can pull him in while stretching his bottom leg out, looking to attack the triangle, which we'll get to later on. So what I need you guys to think about is how you're going to try to create instability through rotation in the other guy. Before we even get into you know the billion little techniques and whatnot, I'm bothering you here. I can pull with both. Pulling with the cross grip is not that effective because Seth will anchor his elbow to his side. But if I get this grip behind his armpit, very different story. I can start to stretch him very effectively. It's a very strong grip. And now I'm going to marry it to this motion here, this push behind the shoulder. Now if you'll notice guys, I can create these pressures any number of different ways. I'll adjust my angle a little, put my foot on the inside of his leg, and start to threaten omoplata. Seth brings his knee back in, but all I'm looking at him to do is not bring his knee back in, but bring his knee back in in pressure. And that's the real trick. Because if I extend Seth away first, and then I go, hey, here comes triangle and omoplata, he can start to come in. He's got a pressure. If you just try to bring your leg in, just bring your leg in. There's nothing there. I can move his arm into my omoplata position by putting it in my pocket, or I keep it in the triangle position, you name it. But by driving this knee through, that's what stuffs my hips down. There's no omoplata happening now, no triangle happening now. That's the proper defense. A good attack beats a good defense, guys. You know, I don't want to come up with attacks that beat stupid retardo defenses. I want to come up with attacks that defeat someone doing something really, really well, and I'm hopefully doing it a little bit better. So Seth's in good position. I say, okay, cool. I'll push this out. I'll try to get him. He brings his knee back in, and I tilt him. Same old, same old. See, I've got his foot here, ideally. This is preventing him from latching me up in the half guard if we rotate. You know, he's, he's got my knee and all that, right? He's got me loaded up. Can you use your right hook easily, Seth? Now, what would you be doing? You'd break my grip, right? Pretty cool, huh? That was a very nice move by Seth. But, hey, I know that, so I keep my elbow closed and I'm gonna hop off well before he gets the opportunity to do that. So, <clears throat> one last time. Any sort of transition here, guys, that goes like this, where your leg is on the inside, and again, this could be, what is this, like a triangle? 
This could be normal plaza, but Seth is going to aggressively bring his knee through, and that's what creates our opening. So, from here, Seth, do you feel pretty loaded up on top? Yeah. So I can rock him straight to the backside. This is almost, guys, this is almost like a waiter sweep. Very, very similar to the waiter sweep position that you're gonna see in the deep half guard. So, <clears throat> I pressure to get Seth to pressure. Flat, my hips come up, my hands come through. Now if you'll notice, I'm threatening a series of things. What I wanna do is reduce friction, I'm stuck right now. I wanna make, I wanna spin around like a top, and if you notice a top has a very, very small point that it rotates. There's a relatively large surface area, but the point in contact with the ground is very small. If I wanna be able to spin around, I need to become that. So just by lifting my hips up off the floor a little bit, watch this. I can rotate all over the dang place. Whereas, if my back were on the ground, I'm like, ugh, this is so labored. God, I wish I was more flexible. Wrong. Watch, roll up onto your spine so that you feel one of the notches of your spine digging into the ground. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not effectively defending me against Seth. I would have to roll back over. Let's say you're a little further away from me, Seth. I may be using this as a bait getting you to come in, whereas if my feet were angled towards him, he may feel a little bit more uh, reticent to come close to me. So. I'll start to move and I can transition, sorry about that, from position to position. And eventually I can roll back onto my shoulders and play from there. But again, if you'll notice, I'm still not doing anything that requires an intense amount of flexibility. My knees still aren't on the ground. I can do this without warming up, but I'm not required to do that for what we're doing right now. So again, very, very important. I'm moving back and forth, utilizing my hands to create momentum, pushing off of Seth, using him like he's the ground. And now, watch, if you stand for a moment, please, Seth, all I want to do is I'm actually going to spin round and round and round, and you can make this into a drill. It's just simply a drill. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's just how you're going to move around and just practice. Again, fighting is not moves, it's movement. So. But I want to land my, a similar attack at a very different angle of attack, and that's pretty in my interest because it allows me to, to hide my intent. So here we are. I'm going to bother Seth, and I can keep this foot here. And another thing that I can do with this foot is I can pull him down. Very, very important. So sometimes you can start to bother the other person, keeping your feet on them as you're playing spider guard. Now I'll bring my top, my free foot on top of the back of Seth's head to stop him from posturing. If I stay here and, you know, intently, he's gonna get out of there at some point, he'll shrug his head out. But all I need is for a split second, I'm gonna bring his head low and shoot my entire hips up over top of it. So if we rotate. Here I'm bothering Seth, I'm thinking about the triangle, I'm bothering his knees, creating some distance. I can always, if he gets close to me, again, I'm at range, right? So I use my feet. As he gets closer to me, I use my shins. But again, don't feel like you have to use your shins at all times. It's simply a very stable structure. But if he's farther at range, play this game like a spider guard. One, two, three, four. My triangle now latches at a three o'clock angle. Very, very important. This is no different than the reverse triangle that you would use if I latched up Seth in a, in a triangle and he wrapped around my leg, and I'm like, man, this guy's super strong. I just can't bring his shoulder to his neck. I'm like, squeezing is not gonna get it done. I don't feel like I can get the angle to stomp and curl, so I'm like, okay. I control, I would check the inside of Seth's arm, rotate, get onto my knee, and now very, very important, if we uh, turn the corner a little. I wanna bring my leg up like it's a piece of rebar directly underneath of Seth's armpit. I don't want to cut into his lat. You can tear someone's lat, believe it or not, and uh, it's, cr it's going to cause a lot of pain and discomfort, but I need to be able to put him to sleep. It, you know, again, I can't trust that this guy's just going to give up. So foot comes directly into the bend of the, uh, into the bend of the armpit, or the pit of the arm. I lock my triangle. Now, don't squeeze traditionally here. I'm going to hold Seth's tricep, and I'm going to pull his shoulder 